Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my skincare routine which does include the ripping my hair out from the half up to putting it back in a bun. Very important step, you can't miss it. Next I go in with um, micellar cleansing water and I like to let it sit on my eye makeup for like two seconds. I'm not even going to lie, I'm usually not very patient with it. And then you just want to rub as hard as you can at your eye. Um, get all your eye makeup off, get some of it in your eye, hope that it doesn't melt your contacts, and then you're ready to move on to the next step, which is putting in your Cetaphil cleanser, but before you wash your face, you're going to let the whole bottle explode all over your hand like it just did, and then you're going to look at yourself in the mirror while you wash your face and know for a fact that you're about to put this cleanser back in the shower because you literally never do your skincare routine outside of the shower, and this is a new, new thing for you. But you know, you're trying your best. Then you're gonna lay a rag down because it is impossible to not get water everywhere. I literally don't know how the girls in the commercials do that where they splash water all over their face and then it's like, oh, look at my clear, beautiful skin. I can't do that, I get water in the floor. Um, so I just dried my face, but I'm gonna put water, water back on it because we are going to put on our St. Ives green tea blackhead clearing scrub. And I know that if I had any more than four people watch my videos, that people would be coming for me right now for using the St. Ives, Ives Physical Exfoliator. Um, but I don't, so that's good. Um, and I've heard people say that you're only supposed to use the amount of pressure you'd put on like a tomato to do this. So that's what I do. And then I dry off my face, and as you can see, my skin's very red and irritated. This is the look that you want to go for. Then I'm going in with my toner, but not before I forget that I didn't show it to you. And then I show it to you, recognize a breakout, and get a little sad. Um, but then I'm going to put my toner in my hand like I usually do. I usually don't put it on a cotton pad because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's like the friction that causes like a worse breakout. And I like to put it all over. Um, it just feels really refreshing. And then I fan dry my face because... I feel like that's right. I feel like you shouldn't stack all your liquids and stuff on top of one another. And then I'm going to go in with this serum from The Ordinary that I desperately tried to get you to see the name of and then realized that it wasn't going to work. It's their Niacinamide Serum and it is an anti-breakout serum. So I really enjoy this. It works really, really well for me except for right after this video, but... You know, it is what it is. That's not inconsistent skincare. Anyways, next I'm going to go in with the Ordinary's um, caffeine drops. And you literally only need like that little dot because I don't really know where else you would put anything. You're just going to go underneath your eyes with your ring finger because it's the most gentle. I'm coming for your brand, Hiram Skincare. I do from Hawaii. You know the one. And then I fan dry my face again because I feel like that's the right thing to do. And then here we are going in with the thing that I'm pretty sure caused the breakout after I got this video, which is my CeraVe moisturizer. And I think that it did because I have really oily skin. This is kind of a heavy moisturizer, but I tried to avoid the breakout spot and that didn't work. Um, but it is what it is. It's a really nice moisturizer. I think it'd be better if I just put it under the eyes and like in my dry patches. But yeah, I really enjoy this moisturizer. But I don't always do this because I am not on that level. Most of the time, honestly, I will just take off my eye makeup and then splash my face with water and then put the toner on because I feel like it's refreshing. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.